Praise the Lord, everybody. God is so good. And truly the Lord's mercy, it endures until the end. Well, bless the name of our God. I want to continue reading in Psalms 99. And today I am going to begin reading at verse 6. We're talking about the holiness of our God. In verse 6 of Psalms 99, the scripture says, Moses and Aaron were among his priests and Samuel was among those who called upon his name. They called upon the Lord and he answered them. Oh, what a great testimony. I'm talking about a God that is holy today. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, thank you so much for your word, God. It is a lamp unto our feet and it is a light unto our path. I thank you today, God, that we can draw from the well of living water today, Father, and we can apply it to our life and hold it in our hearts, God. Hide it in our hearts that we may not sin against you. So, Father, as your word go forth, forth let it touch every person god that it is being sent to touch lord and i pray even through this message that you would lead me by your spirit so that your people would be edified and you my lord would be glorified so let the words of my mouth and the meditation of mine heart father let it be acceptable in thy sight oh lord my strength and my redeemer i pray and i ask these things in the mighty name of jesus amen i'm so excited this evening because when you read the text when the psalmist wanted to reach back and grab some of the great men of old he reached back in the psalm and he grabbed moses hallelujah and aaron those that god used to deliver the children hallelujah from egypt those that went before the pharaoh and declared let my people go hallelujah and god uh, wrought some mighty miracles through uh, Moses and his brother, hallelujah, when they stood before those Egyptians. And I'm even being reminded of the, one of the greatest things that God did in the Old Testament, how he parted the Red Sea so that his children could walk on dry land, hallelujah. But Pharaoh's army was swallowed up in that Red Sea, hallelujah. They were those that knew how to call on the name of the Lord. And I'm reminded as we read the text it says and Samuel he was the one that anointed King David hallelujah and he was the one uh, that you know was going to be able to see that you know God was establishing a kingdom that shall have no end hallelujah because who came from the lineage of David uh, that great one Jesus our Messiah hallelujah son of David the Bible says uh, and God used these people to bring forth the Savior of the world. Hallelujah. Our God is holy and he is righteous and he is just. Scripture says again in Psalms 99, 6, it declares, And Moses and Aaron were among his priests and Samuel was among those who called upon his name. They called upon the Lord and he answered them. He spoke to them in a cloudy pillar they kept his testimonies and ordinance he gave them hallelujah verse 8 says you answered them O lord our god you were to them God who forgives. Aren't you glad that we serve a God that forgives? Hallelujah. A merciful God, a kind God, a faithful and a just and a true God. He is worthy of all the praise. Hallelujah. Verse 9 finally says, exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy hill for the Lord our God is holy. Hallelujah. He is divine. There is none that can compare to the God of the Bible, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He is holy. Hallelujah. And he deserves, look at all that he has done. Look at through the Bible, you can see all that he has done. Look at your own personal life and you can see how God has carried you through it, how he has done great things even in your life. He he deserves all the praise and all the glory, hallelujah, and all the honor for all the mighty things that he has done. And just for the simple fact that our God, 
hallelujah, is holy. Oh, come on and bless him today for he's worthy of all the praise. And I want you to know that as I end this message that the Lord loves you, hallelujah. And he wants to be all that you need. Just like he told Moses when Moses was to go back to the children of Israel. He said, tell them I am that I am. I came to let you know that God can be everything that you need. If you will yet give him a chance. Yet accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. Watch and see what God can do with your life. Hallelujah. I want you to know also today that I love you. I praying for you and until we meet again stay strong keep giving god the praise and keep your eyes on jesus god bless one of my videos without giving someone the opportunity to give their life to the lord you know in the days and the hours and the time that we are living in now it demands that you know who you are who you belong to and where you are going and so i want to give you the opportunity to give your life to the Lord. If you have not heard the story, the Bible declares that we were all born sinners. It says over in the book of Romans, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that transpired back in the book of Genesis where Adam disobeyed God. And because of Adam's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. And so Jesus, who was was God's sacrificial lamb because a price had to be paid for the sins of the world. So God sent in John 3 16, he says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do today, to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, to wash away all of your your sins. Romans 10 9 says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved. Romans 10 13 says, if you call on the name of the Lord, he will save you. So just repeat this prayer after me. Also, if you have walked away from the Lord, come on back home. Just say, Lord, I confess that I am a sinner. I'm sorry for the wrong that I have done. Please forgive me. I invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I denounce Satan. I declare that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again. And now that I am your child, please fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Know today all of heaven is rejoicing because you have chosen to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Welcome again to the family of God.